Hello, Jessica Frost Bowes here with a video for Chibitronics. Today we're continuing our video series, Chibitronics for Paper Crafters, and I'm sharing a fun way to create an interactive slider card that also lights up. So let's get started. When you push on the click sentiment, you'll see the white light blink in the flash. There's space on the back of the card for your message, and you can pull the tab to reveal the photo. If this is your first time working with Chibitronics, I encourage you to go back and watch the first video in the series, Add a Light to Your Card, for a detailed look at how to create a simple circuit similar to the one we'll be using in today's card. To start, I'm using the InstaSnap camera die set from Trinity Stamps. I've die cut all the different pieces from light and dark teal, gray, white, and black cardstock. I arrange all my camera pieces on the main camera panel to figure out where I want to place the flash. Then I carefully trace around the oval flash piece. Next, I use a craft knife to carefully cut out that shape. Once I've cut it out, I place it on top of another main panel and trace the hole onto the second panel. This will show us where to place our LED sticker. To create my circuit, I start by tracing the gem shape of our white blink animating LED sticker in the center of the oval. As a reference, I mark the long top of the gem as the positive side and the point of the gem as the negative. Next, I peel the adhesive backing off of a battery holder and adhere it to the bottom left edge of the camera panel. These battery holders are new products that will be available this fall. In the meantime, you can cut a piece of cardstock into a long rectangle, fold it in half, and adhere it to the bottom of the panel. Then I remove the adhesive from one side of my foam ring and adhere it following the footprint on the holder. You could use regular foam tape for this as well. Next, I sketch out my circuit showing how I'll connect the positive side of the LED sticker to the red positive line in the battery holder and the negative point of the LED sticker to the blue negative line in the battery holder. Then I apply conductive fabric tape following the lines I've traced. The line of tape running from the negative point of the sticker will lie inside your foam ring. Once I've applied both lines of tape, I add my CR2016 battery inside the foam ring, positive side up. Then I retrace the gem LED shape over the tape so I know exactly where to place my sticker. I adhere my animating white blank LED sticker over the tape, then close the holder and press. When the positive side of the tape touches the positive side of the battery, it completes the circuit and your LED sticker lights up. And just to reinforce my circuit, I add conductive fabric strips over the positive line and negative point of the sticker. Next, I take the third camera panel I die cut and trim it down to a smaller rectangle to cover the circuit on the bottom right of my camera panel. Since I'm creating a slider card, I want it to slide smoothly and not get caught on the tape, so covering the circuit really helps. Then I remove the adhesive backing off the top of the foam ring and close the holder, sealing in the battery. This makes sure your battery won't fall out but it also won't turn on your LED unless you press down, which helps preserve the battery. I've already adhered the camera lens pieces, but I add the grip to the left side of the panel. The grip piece has a black cardstock dial at the top that I also already adhered. Then I add my teal circle to the panel and adhere the lens inside. I also add the little border around the flash and the square button. Then I add a scrap of vellum to the back of the camera panel to soften and diffuse the LED. When you place the vellum over the circuit template and press down, you can see the light flash. And now it's time to create my slider panel. This ended up being a little trickier than I expected, but I have some tips to share to make it easier. I die cut this cute orca from Erin Lee Creative from white and glossy black cardstock and adhered it together. I'm getting ready to go on an Alaskan cruise and I hope to see orcas, so I thought this was an appropriate photo to create for my slider.
Then I added my orca and trimmed off the excess. I had enough of his tail left over to add it to the panel to make it look like there were two whales. Then I stamped a sentiment from See You Soon onto the bottom of the panel and adhered the whale panel to the white panel to finish the photo. And now to create my slider. I start by adding a foam strip to the top of my photo panel and another strip to the back of my camera piece lined up over where my photo will slide. The second strip will catch the strip on the photo to keep it from sliding all of the way out of the camera. Then I apply strips of tape around the photo and circuit, being sure to not cover the LED sticker. Once all my tape is applied, but before I remove the adhesive backing on the foam tape, I run a powder tool along the tape edges to help mattify them so they're not as sticky. This will help my photo slide more easily and make sure it doesn't catch along the sides. I remove all the adhesive backing, slip my photo inside, and then line up the camera panel and adhere it. And this is where I ran into a problem. I didn't take into account that the die cut orca pieces wouldn't slide as easily back into the camera because they're higher up. They got caught on the tape on the back of the camera piece as I tried to slide them in. So unfortunately my hands were off camera here, but I carefully peeled the tape off the back of the camera panel and slipped a piece of thinner foam tape in its place. You can see the difference in the height of the foam tape here. Finally, I adhered the click sentiment from the InstaSnap die set over the battery holder so the recipient would know where to push and added a white square on the back for a place to write a message. Thankfully, this allowed the photo to slide in and out more easily. Alternatively, if that hadn't worked, or if I didn't have two different types of foam tape, I would have just used a stamped image or die cut the orcas from the blue panel so that I could inlay them into the blue panel so they wouldn't have been as thick. Either way would work, but I'm glad I was able to just adjust the tape here. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video in the Chibitronics for Paper Crafter series and stay tuned for a new video next month. Be sure to subscribe to the Chibitronics YouTube channel and follow us on social media for lots of crafty inspiration. Thanks so much for watching, have an amazing day, and happy crafting. Bye!